Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling the story of my labor and delivery with my first son and how it was natural, kind of like how it went from beginning to end. No epidural, no medicine, nothing. Okay, so this all started around December 6th. I went into the hospital to be induced with my son and I got there and they started, they gave me Cervidil, which it's inserted inside of you and it helps to dilate your cervix. So first I got that and I was in there for a while. <clears throat> really wasn't doing anything, so they started the Pitocin. And the Pitocin, I guess, makes your contractions super strong. Like a lot stronger than they would be without Pitocin. Anyways, it makes your contractions super strong. And at first, obviously, this was my first son, so I had no experience whatsoever. I had no idea what to expect at all. So, you know, I'm like, oh, this isn't too bad. It just feels like kind of period cramps. Nothing too severe. And I was, at this time, I was about a three. So, fast forward a few hours. They kept checking me. And the contractions were getting stronger. And stronger. <laughs> and they asked me if I wanted an epidural. And at this point, it wasn't too bad. Because I do have a super strong pain tolerance. And it wasn't too bad. So, I said no. I did not want the epidural at this moment. I want to try to do it natural. I said no, and I'm, um, I spent some time on the ball, and I was like laying on it, like I just inserted the picture before this, um, I was laying on it, my husband was rubbing my back, and that was kind of helping a little bit, but not too bad, like nothing was really releasing the pain, obviously, if you had it naturally, you know, nothing really releases the pain unless you get an epidural or some kind of pain medicine. So nothing was really releasing at all. I did that. Um, I actually laid on the bed and my husband held my hand. Squeezed the, you know what, out of his hand. That didn't help either. Just hurting us both. So at this point I was about an eight and I was in excruciating pain. Absolutely the worst pain I've ever been in in my entire life. And I was sitting on the edge of the bed and I was just kind of like rocking back and forth. And I was like in my zone, in my zone, you know, like not even thinking about anyone else that was ab around me at all because I was in so much pain. I wasn't thinking about anything but getting this baby out of me so I could feel better. So I'm doing that and this nurse is bent on her knees trying to hook up the um, blood pressure cuff. And obviously I know it's what she has to do, it's her job, but at the time I was so mad because I was in so much pain. And she was making me so mad because she kept putting it on my arm. I'm like, stop touching me. So eventually I ripped it off my arm and I whipped it across the thing. I just threw it and I was like, you seriously need to leave me alone. If you touch me again, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> like that's how much pain I was in. But after I had him, of course, I apologized to everyone, told him I was super sorry. It didn't mean anything I said, but they, obviously they understand. So I was rocking back and forth and then I was like, I have to go to the bathroom right now. And they're like, no, you don't have to go to the bathroom. And I was, of course, already mad because I was in pain. So I'm like, stop telling me what I do and don't have to do. I have to go to the bathroom. So they're like, okay. So obviously I didn't have an epidural, so I could just get up and go. So I sat on the toilet. I'm like, I have to push. I'm trying to go to the bathroom. They're like, you can't have your baby in the toilet. And that made me even more mad. I'm like, you can't tell me where I can. I can't have a baby. I was just super mean because I was in so much pain. Obviously, they know what's best. They've been doing it for a long time. So I get back on the bed. And I start pushing. Oh, well, they checked me, obviously, and it was time for me to push. So the doctor comes in, and I start pushing, and he wasn't coming out. They use this thing called a kiwi. They stuck it on his head. Then it just kept popping off. wasn't working. Nothing was working. He wasn't coming out. I was getting exhausted, so they had to cut me. And his, um... Umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck, so every time I got a contraction, it pinched and made his oxygen levels or whatever go down, like his heart rate go down. So then he was like, I have to help you now. I can't numb you. I'm sorry. So, and I've never had a baby, like I said before this, so I was like, okay, whatever. And he cut me without numbing me. And everyone in the waiting room heard me scream because it hurt so bad. So, um, after that, he came right out. And it was just the most amazing experience of my life. Um, 
I was awake and I could, you know, I could get up and walk around after after a little bit. But anyways, we'll get to there in a minute. So he was born, and then he sewed me up. Um, well, obviously I delivered the placenta, and he's like, "Do you want to see it?" I'm like, "No, thank you." He's like, "Do you want to save it?" No, thank you. So um, he stitched me up, and I was just holding my baby, and he was so cute and precious. And now he's three and mean. No, I'm just kidding. So it was just the most amazing experience of my life. I was crying. My husband was. My husband was crying. Everybody in the room was crying. My mom was in the room and my husband's mom was in the room. And that's it. And everyone was just crying. So it was just a great experience. And after that. So the recovery part of that, with I don't know. I doubt it's the recovery is different without getting an epidural. Obviously, you can't move around right away with it, an epidural. Um, so you can't move around when you have an epidural. And after so it was nice because I could get up and go to the bathroom right away Obviously, they didn't want me to carry him right away just in case anything would happen or if I would fall or anything So that was nice. I could get up and stuff And um, everyone was super helpful. There was amazing hospital amazing staff. They were always right there when I needed something and So everyone else my husband went to the waiting room got everyone everyone came in and was just crying of course and happy and it was a great day. It was just the best day ever. But um, a funny thing is, you know how they say the first meal after you have your baby is like the best or whatever? My husband took this picture of my baby and I'm in the background smashing on some fries and it's hilarious. So yeah, that's me smashing on some fries. <laughs> but my recovery from this one wasn't as bad as my second one. This one was okay. I had some stitches. I stopped bleeding about um, three weeks or so and my stitches dissolved and then I was fine. After three weeks I was fine. I had no pain. I had no back pain. I had no cramping or nothing which is completely different from the sun I just had. But I had no cramping anything so that was super great. Um, but before we left the hospital we got to give him his first bath. And he looks so cute and he loved it so much the water like on his head he was just super relaxed and he just loved it so that is pretty much it for my labor and delivery story all natural it's completely different from getting a spinal slash epidural completely different so I could do another video on natural versus epidural births and do that if you guys want to but that was my experience with my natural, and he is now three years old, Mason, and he is a great brother, and he loves his brother, and he is so good. Um, obviously, he's crazy because he's three, but he listens for the most part, and yeah, he'll be four in December, so that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.